in this video we are going to explain about the project title early detection of alzheimer's disease using cognitive features a voting based ensemble machine learning approach introduction the primary focus of the project is on early detection of alzheimer's disease using cognitive features early detection is crucial for timely intervention and improved patient outcomes Machine learning techniques have garnered attention due to their effectiveness in predicting AD using cognitive tests. These techniques are used to analyze data and identify patterns that may indicate the presence of the disease. To enhance the robustness of the learning system, the project proposes the use of ensemble machine learning models. Ensemble methods combine the predictions of multiple machine learning models, often leading to improved accuracy and reliability. The project introduces a novel ensemble machine learning technique designed specifically for the early detection of AD. This technique is expected to provide an innovative approach to AD diagnosis. A feature selection technique called NCAF is introduced to identify essential cognitive features from a data set. This step is vital for focusing on the most relevant data points and improving the accuracy of the AD prediction. Objective The project's primary objective is to develop a groundbreaking ensemble machine learning approach for early detection of Alzheimer's disease. This approach combines multiple machine learning models to improve the accuracy and reliability of AD diagnosis. Cognitive features such as data from cognitive tests and neuropsychological assessments serve as the basis for understanding cognitive decline associated with Alzheimer's disease. These features are used to measure and analyze changes in cognitive function. The project employs machine learning to analyze cognitive features, enabling the prediction of an individual's risk of developing Alzheimer's disease. This approach uncovers hidden patterns and relationships in the data that may not be apparent through traditional diagnostic methods. By doing so, it facilitates early detection of the disease. In the voting process the project uses an adaptive weight matrix approach to determine the significance of each model's output this is achieved by multiplying a model's output label by its fn score the resulting weight reflects the model's performance and contribution to the ensemble enhancing the overall prediction accuracy software and hardware requirements software requirements of the project are application is anaconda Primary language is Python, front end framework is Flask, back end framework is Jupyter Notebook, database is SQLite, and front end technologies which we have used are HTML, CSS, JavaScript and Bootstrap 4. Hardware requirements of the project are operating system of Windows, processor of i5 and above, RAM of 8 GB and above, hard disk of 25 GB and above. working modules of flow of work to implement this project we have designed the following modules the first module is importing the packages in this initial step the project imports necessary python packages or libraries these packages provide various functions and tools needed for data analysis and machine learning commonly used packages include numpy pandas sklearn matplotlib and seaborn exploring the dataset ad dataset This phase involves obtaining and gaining an understanding of the Alzheimer's disease AD dataset. The dataset likely contains relevant data on cognitive features, patient information and disease labels. Exploratory data analysis AD is performed to assess data quality, distributions and relationships within the dataset. Data processing This step involves several subtasks creating a pandas data frame the data set is typically loaded into a pandas data frame for easier manipulation and analysis dropping unwanted columns columns of features that are not needed or may introduce noise are removed from the data set component analysis this might involve techniques like principal component analysis pca to reduce the dimensionality of the data while preserving important information visualization using seaborn and matplotlib data visualization is a crucial step to gain insights and identify patterns seaborn and matplotlib two popular python libraries are used to create plots and visualizations that help in understanding the data this can include histograms scatter plots heat maps and more label encoding using label encoder 
Machine learning models often require target labels to be in numeric form. Label encoding is a technique used to convert categorical or text-based labels into numerical values. The label encoder function from SQLearn is typically used for this task. Feature selection Feature selection aims to identify and retain the most relevant features from the dataset. This process helps improve model efficiency and performance by reducing dimensionality and mitigating the risk of overfitting. Various techniques can be employed such as statistical test, correlation analysis, or domain knowledge-based selection. Splitting the data X and Y for ML In this step, the dataset is divided into two parts, X which represents the feature variables and Y which represents the target labels. This separation is crucial for training and evaluating machine learning models. Building the model Machine learning models are constructed using algorithms and libraries such as SQLearn or TensorFlow. These models use the X features and Y labels data to learn patterns and relationships between the cognitive features in Alzheimer's disease. An ensemble method is applied to combine the predictions of multiple individual models. This approach enhances the overall accuracy and robustness of predictions. In the context of the project, it's a voting-based ensemble technique that leverages several models to make a final, more reliable prediction. Training and building the model The machine learning models are trained on the dataset, which means they adjust their internal parameters to better fit the data. Training is a crucial step in the development of the model and involves optimization techniques to achieve the best predictive performance. FLAS framework with SQLite for sign up and sign in. The FLAS framework is used for developing a web application. SQLite is a lightweight database system that is often integrated into Flask applications. In this context, it's employed for user sign up and sign in functionality. User gives input as feature values. Users input cognitive feature values which are relevant for Alzheimer's disease prediction. These features include test results, assessments, or other relevant data points. The given input is pre processed for prediction. The user provided feature values are pre processed to make them suitable for input into the machine learning model. This step ensures that the user's data is compatible with the model's requirements. Trained model is used for prediction. The pre processed user input is fed into the trained machine learning model. The model then uses this data to make a prediction regarding the presence or risk of Alzheimer's disease. Final outcome is displayed through front end. The result of the prediction, whether it indicates a risk of Alzheimer's disease or not, is displayed to the user through the application's front end. This is the user's actionable outcome based on the input data. Algorithms used. To implement this project, we have used some algorithms. The first algorithm is KNN, K nearest neighbor. KNN is a simple yet effective classification algorithm. It assigns a class label to a data point based on the majority class among its K nearest neighbors in the feature space. Decision tree. A decision tree is a tree like structure where its internal nodes represent feature attributes and leaf nodes represent class labels. It's used for classification tasks by making a series of decisions based on features. Random forest. Random forest is an ensemble learning method that combines multiple decision trees. It improves accuracy and reduces overfitting by averaging the predictions of individual trees. Logistic regression. Logistic regression is a binary classification algorithm that models the probability of a data point belonging to a particular class. It's widely used for its simplicity and interpretability. Ada boost. AdaBoost is an ensemble learning technique that combines multiple weak classifiers to create a strong classifier. It assigns different weights to misclassified data points, focusing on improving the accuracy in subsequent iterations. MLP Multi Layer Perceptron MLP is a type of artificial neural network with multiple layers. It's used for various machine learning tasks, including classification. It consists of an input layer, hidden layer, and an output layer. 
ANN artificial neural network ANN refers to neural networks in general these networks are composed of interconnected neurons or nodes they can be simple feed forward networks or more complex architectures like convolutional neural network CNN and recurrent networks voting classifier a voting classifier combines the predictions of multiple individual classifiers such as random forest and decision tree the majority vote determines the final prediction stacking classifier rf plus mlp plus light gbm stacking is another ensemble method that combines predictions from different classifiers in this case it combines the predictions from random forest multi layer perceptron and light gbm a gradient boosting framework CNN convolutional neural network CNN are primarily used for image and pattern recognition they consists of layers for convolution pooling and fully connected layers in this context CNN might be applied to extract features from image based cognitive test CNN plus LSTM convolutional neural network plus long short term memory this is a hybrid model combining the capabilities of cnn for feature extraction and lstm for handling sequences making it suitable for task where both spatial and temporal information is important models are compared with the parameters accuracy precision recall fn score This is the accuracy comparison graph. On the x-axis we have the accuracy score and on the y-axis we have the algorithm name. Accuracy is a measure of the overall correctness of a classification model. It calculates the ratio of correctly predicted instances, both true positives and true negatives, to the total number of instances. This is the precision comparison graph. On the x-axis we have the precision score and on the y-axis we have the algorithm name. Precision is a metric that assesses the accuracy of positive predictions made by the model. It calculates the ratio of true positives, correctly predicted positive instances to the total number of positive predictions, true positives plus false positives. This is the recall comparison graph. On the x-axis we have the recall score and on the y-axis we have the algorithm name. Recall also known as sensitivity or true positive rate measures the model's ability to correctly identify all relevant instances in the dataset. It calculates the ratio of true positives to the total number of actual positive instances, true positives plus false negatives. This is the FN comparison graph. On the x-axis we have FN score and on the y-axis we have algorithm name. FN is the harmonic mean of precision and recall. It is a balanced measure that considers both false positives and false negatives. It is calculated as 2 times the product of precision and recall divided by the sum of precision and recall. It provides a single metric that balances precision and recall, making it useful when we want to consider both false positives and false negatives in the evaluation. execution to execute this project first we need to open the code folder which contains the project source code files this is the code folder this is the static folder this folder consists of files related to css javascript and bootstrap files this is the templates folder This folder contains all the HTML pages used in the project. It typically includes files like index.html, about.html, etc., which represent different pages of the website. This is app.py file. This .py file contains the information related to front-end logic. It includes code written in Python that handles server-side operations such as processing user requests, interacting with the database, and generating dynamic content to be rendered in the HTML templates. This is these are model files which contain algorithm information which will be loaded into the project code during run time. This is notebook.ipynb file. This is a Jupyter notebook file which contains a combination of code, graphs and outputs all in one place. It allows users to write and execute code in individual cells making it a popular choice for data science. This is signup.db file. This file is the database file used to store user information. First, we will copy the path of the code folder from the address bar of the file explorer. I am copying the path. Open the Anaconda prompt. 
use the cd command followed by a space and paste the copied path and hit enter this command is used to change the current directory to the code folder's path compile the app.py file using the command python space app.py here i'm typing python space app.py and hit enter this command will execute the python script and perform a runtime check for any syntax errors or logical issues after running the app.py file the flash framework will host the application locally at the default address which is this local host and port now copy this local link provided by the flash framework i'm copying the link and paste this copied link into any web browser i usually prefer google chrome and hit enter this is the home page of the project displayed in the browser this is the front end built using flash framework if we are a new user we need to register first so click on sign up button here we need to enter all these details to register but i have already registered so click on sign in here we need to enter the username and the password which we have created and then click on sign in i have logged in successfully so here we need to enter all these parameters to predict whether the person is having alzheimer's disease or not so i'm entering the parameters visit is 1 Visit is the number of patient visits or appointments for cognitive assessments. MR delay is the time gap between MRI scans which is relevant for tracking changes in brain structure. So here MR delay is 0 and here we need to choose a gender whether that whether the person is male or female. So here the person is male. and hand we need to choose the handedness indicating if a person is right handed left handed or ambidextrous so here the person is right handed so i'm selecting right and here we need to enter the age of the person so here the age of the person is 87 and the education of the person which is 14 here and we need to enter the scs which is socio economic status a measure of economic and social factors so here scs is 2 and mmsc is the mini mental state examination scores assessing cognitive functions like memory which is 27 and cdr is the clinical dementia rating a scale to assess the severity of dementia is 0 and etiv is the estimated total intracranial volume measuring total brain volume is 1987 and nwbv is normalized whole brain volume quantifying brain tissue volume relative to head size is 0.696 and asf which is atrophy scaling factor a measure of brain atrophy in imaging data is 0.883 after entering all these parameters click on predict so here we can see we got the result the patient is diagnosed with non alzheimer's disease non demented it means the person is not having alzheimer's disease we will enter another set of parameters and check whether that person is having alzheimer's disease or not so i'm entering the parameters of one more person so here i have entered parameters of one more person now click on predict Here we can see we got the result. The patient is diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease, demented. It means the person is having the Alzheimer's disease. In this way, by entering all the parameters, we can predict whether the person is having Alzheimer's disease or not. Now click on sign out. The conclusion of the project is. The project's ensemble machine learning techniques has yielded encouraging results. 
This suggests that the approach is effective in early detection of Alzheimer's disease, which is crucial for timely intervention and improve patient outcomes. The technique introduces a unique feature selection method called neighborhood component analysis and correlation based filtration NCAF. This method is used to identify and choose the most critical cognitive features from the data set. By selecting only the most relevant features, the model can focus on the essential information for Alzheimer's disease prediction. The NCAF feature selection method is employed to prepare the data set and it's used in the training way various machine learning classifiers. These classifiers learn from the data to make predictions about Alzheimer's disease based on the selected cognitive features. After training multiple classifiers, the proposed technique selects the top performing classifiers for the ensemble approach. These selected classifiers are used in a voting mechanism to make predictions. This ensemble approach leverages the strengths of the individual classifiers to improve overall accuracy and robustness. Thank you for watching video. For more projects please visit our website www.trueprojects.in. For updates on latest project videos, please visit True Projects YouTube channel and subscribe.